Hi there guys, welcome to Brig. So we're back in Switzerland again. Look at this lovely castle behind us here. I'm gonna give you a spin round like I always do, so we'll do that right away. We're in Valais, Canton Valais, it's very beautiful. So here's a quick spin. So these three towers are based, are named after the uh, three wise men. So if you know who they are, let me know in the comments below. I just had a really nice chat with um, some local people. So hi guys, leave me a comment below. I hope you did. And yes, yeah, so we'll have a wander through this beautiful little, they were not sure if it was a town or a city, but I believe it's classed as a city. And they were telling me that it used to be two villages that became one so that it could be called a town or a city there's a bit of a translation problem there so you need 10,000 residents before it can become a town or a city whichever one it because obviously there was the confusion with the language so anyway one village was down there and this was the other one and they joined together we can have a look at the garden here actually lovely maintenance by the way and yeah, so I'll tell you some more facts they told me. It's 40 minutes away from the Italian border. So if you're driving to Milan from Geneva like we just did, then you could miss the Mont Blanc tunnel if you don't want to pay the 60 euros. And you could drive towards uh, Sion and then continue to Brig, and then go into Milan that way as well. You get lovely carriages there. It's very pretty inside here as well. So yeah, I did find out that they created a uh, kind of like a schnitzel here, but it's got blue cheese and another piece of meat inside. If I remember, I'll put the name here now. And there's always some information below about the town that we filmed, by the way. And yeah, they were really nice people. They were telling me that there's a lot of division in Canton Valley between the towns and the villages. And they even have a different name in German for people from a different part of Swiss Germany. So they'd say like this person is a Zurica or that person is a whatever. Obviously it's in German. And they can tell by the way that they speak as a different dialect. I didn't know that. Um, I did ask the, the normal question, what do you think of Geneva? And they didn't really say much. So that was interesting because there's normally, they did also tell me there's a bit of a divide in Valais where it's like an east-west, whereas in most countries, like in the UK, it's the north-south. Here it's more east-west. And yeah, it's an uh, interesting conversation. Obviously, Swiss people don't like to be on the camera. But I'm gonna flip you round, because some, someone complained about my face being in the video too much. So let's have a look. I did find out that this was actually the only cool bar. There is a college here as well. I'm speaking quietly because there's no one here and I don't want to annoy the locals. But yeah, it's very small, it's very quiet. But we did say we were gonna try and do the whole country, so we've gotta do at least every city. All right, here are the guys, here, here are the guys. Right, come and say hello. I've told them about you. Hello. So, so just hey. just the one thing that you could say on the camera was the fact that you said about the you say a different name for a different person from the German part. You said like he's a uh, from yeah, like an 
we're this region here, Wallis, and we have like these borders, the natural ones from the mountains. Like yeah. the mountains here, they go up over 2,000 meters also on this side. Yeah. People like to think like this a lot. Yeah. So everyone who's not here in this valley or French down there, they're not part of the world in some yeah. ways. And that's and why if you are not from here, they you call them uh, out of Wallis region. Right, guy. that was it. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Schweitzer. Mr. Schweitzer. <laughs> right, thank the you. Right, it's the right yeah. word. And, and yeah. I just told them that that was the best bar in the town. <laughs> you can, you can no, 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 you will ruin it. Yeah. Yeah. No, you will ruin it and too much people will come. come. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. 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 But, but it is a nice, that was beautiful up there, by the way. Yeah. I just had a look at the castle. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's yeah. definitely worth coming just even to look at that. Yes. It's very nice, yeah. But we're going to go and find Virginie, my French friend. They know who that is. Okay. But thank you guys. I should have filmed the conversation. Yeah. 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 Ma maybe we, 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 you would have lost a follower or two. But <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I, do you know, the, the biggest search on my channel is Switzerland. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And they're obsessed with Geneva. <laughs> like, yeah, I, you can ask them, why, why are you so obsessed with Geneva? <laughs> But yes, USA, <laughs> tell us, India. <laughs> it is. Uh, yeah, he remembered the biggest viewers. Thank you, America, by the way. <laughs> Cheers. And, and India, they're my biggest viewers. And don't forget the, the red light district video. Who else was there? The Dutch, the, the Netherlands. Oh, yes. They were on there. Oh, of yes. course, yes. they're, the, they're yeah. the, the randy ones of Europe, should we say. <laughs> but cheers, guys. Have a good day. And yeah, leave, I you. said in the video to leave me a comment. Yeah. So please do. Yeah. Cheers, do. guys. Bye. Bye. The, the local people here are very nice. They're very nice. But that was what I was trying to say to you, that word. I did speak to them for like an hour. And yeah, Virginie's down there. You know, she likes to come because she does little travel vlogs as well. But let's have a look at this building here. And yeah, basically, it's fun to walk around, speak to some f local people, always get some information. They did also confirm that if you're going to Canton Bern, the best place to go is Thun, not Interlaken. It's like a hidden secret in Switzerland. And this is the English restaurant, but they don't have any English food in it. And we're coming to the main square. Virginie. Everyone knows you've been waiting for me on the camera. <laughs> she's uh, writing away. But you know, when you're, because she's French, obviously, it's, it's interesting for French friends of mine to come on these trips as well. I've had a few different ones come. And I'm yet to bring an English person around Switzerland. Would you like to see that below? We can make that happen. But everyone's scared of the camera. I don't know why. So we're basically at the end of the town now. Hello. So as with all places in Switzerland, you've got the new town and the old town, and the floor is normally a big indication of which one you're in. So we're actually going to go to the top of this hill here. It's a big student town, I don't know if I said that. So if you go that way, you head towards the train station. And it's literally one road down there, you're at the train station. I've never been up here. It's the first time I've been here. So we're gonna walk up here together. I can hear some water. Let's let's end at this bridge. So yeah, an experience to come. I would only come if you're near. It's cheap, by the way. So a beer was 
a normal sized beer, so a half pint, a bit more than a half pint in English terms, was four francs. That's really cheap. I love running water. So it's kind of like a place you'd find in Haute Savoie, but a bit more upmarket because it's Swiss, obviously. It reminds me a bit of Salonge in Haute Savoie near Chamonix, especially with the, the running water. And it's a bit like the views you get from there of the, the French Alps. I wouldn't come here on holiday, although some people do, but I would not come here on holiday, only if you're passing by. You're not far from Caen, you're not far from Zermatt. It could be a pit stop if you're driving to Milan or something like that. But anyway, our quest to conquer Switzerland will continue. There'll be other videos. Please leave me some comments and don't forget to like to help the channel grow. We're growing slowly. I had a message from YouTube the other day saying we're getting more views and longer viewers and more subscribers watching. So yeah, I'm very happy with that. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.